welcome back friends today we're going to talk about Vokey so the first thing that I wanted to show you is how I use Vokey uh, for for my classroom instruction so here we are at my website my class website and I'm going to go ahead and go into one of my locations I gamify my class so that's why my website looks like this so let's head into the cartographers workshop for instance and let's see how I use Vokey in the classroom okay so here's my little Vokey avatar right here and as you can see when I move my cursor around his eyes follow where my cursor goes okay so I'm gonna click play let me turn up my volume and I'm gonna stick my microphone underneath my speaker so you can hear what he says Hello, welcome to my workshop. I am the cartographer. I have designed several quests here to help you on your journey. Since each quest increases in difficulty you will need to complete them, in order, and get a passcode to unlock the next quest. I will appear when you need help completing my quests. Good luck traveler. And remember, a cartographer's most important tool is observation. All right, so that's one example. One thing I want to draw your attention to is that the background of my Vokey looks identical to the background of the website here. So you can change your background to look however you want it to, and I'll show you how to do that in Vokey in just a minute. Let's go back to the main city, and I'm just going to show you another area just so you can kind of get a different idea of what Vokey can do for you. So we're going to go into Capital City here. This is where my government quests are located. I'm going to actually go into one of my government areas here. Okay, and I'll let you hear this particular Vokey and what she sounds like now. Welcome to your Middle East government quests. I am so excited to help you on your journey. These quests, in order, this is because each quest builds upon the previous quest. Click on the vortex to begin your quest. Make sure you have everything you need from class with you before you begin. Good luck. All right, so that one may have been a little bit more difficult to hear over the background music that's going on. Um, but again, notice that in the background here, uh, the background looks exactly like my capital city here which is where the government quests are located. I'll just show you one more quick one. Let me go back to my main city here. I'll go into the economist lair. All right, so again, in the economist lair, his background looks just like my website background. All right, so I think you kind of get the idea. Essentially, wherever you put, you can embed Vokies into your websites, and when the kids click play, the Vokies will speak to them and, uh, you know, kind of tell them what to do. They do take a, a few moments to populate, but again, this background looks exactly like the library, for example. So let's go ahead and X out of here, and let's go and see how I created all of those Vokies. All right, so this web address is Vokey.com, V-O-K-I.com. And when you come to Vokey.com, it looks just like this. And there's a little avatar here that you can click on, and she tells you a little bit about Vokey and what it is and that kind of thing. The first thing that you're going to do when you get here is you're going to click on Register, which is right up here. And you're going to go ahead and create your Vokey account. You're going to click that you accept and you're going to click sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account while you sign up for your account. Okay, so here we are inside of Vokey. And as you can see, as I scroll down, these are all the Vokies that I have created uh, for all the websites and different things that, that I have. Um, you know, one thing that I 
didn't show you in the cartographer's workshop. Actually, let me go back and show that to you now. Because you can actually put these Vokies, you can put these Vokies inside of PowerPoint presentations. And I have created PowerPoint presentations with my Vokies speaking to my students just as if, you know, they were part of the lesson. So, you know, you can really bring them to life. So let me click on my Quest 1 here in the Middle East. And let me just show you an example. And then I screencast that so that the Vokey actually became part of the PowerPoint, part of the movie, part of the lesson. So I'm going to click play here and just let you kind of hear what that sounds like. Welcome to your very first geography training session. In this session you will learn the names of the countries in the Middle East and where they are located. You will need your map from class and a pencil to complete this mission. Let's get started. Establishing a sense of place is an important factor in understanding people of other cultures. All right, so I'm not going to make you sit through that whole thing, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention that you can embed your Vokies inside of a PowerPoint presentation and then screencast your PowerPoint presentation so that it kind of looks like it's a movie and the Vokie is teaching the class. All right, so going back to Voki now here. So again, uh, it saves all the Vokies that you have ever created. So they're all right here. And notice that it gives you a very limited number of characters for which to save to title your Vokey. So you have to kind of get creative if you're going to be making quite a lot of them to figure out which Vokey goes where and that kind of thing. And you can always click on them and play them to make sure that you have the right Vokey if you need to re-embed it somewhere else. So once you create it, it is it does stay in your account. So how do you create a Vokey? Well, first you're going to click on create a new Vokey. One tip I'll give you about embedding it into a PowerPoint presentation while this is uh, populating and coming up is that you can embed it and play it, but once you, let me back up. So a tip for a PowerPoint presentation is when you're going to embed Vokies into a PowerPoint presentation, you have to screencast it all in one shot. Because after you spend all of that time creating and embedding your Vokies in the PowerPoint presentation, you need to go ahead and film it right away. You can't save it and close out of it and come back to it to screencast it later on. Otherwise, you'll have to re-embed all of your Vokies again. So keep that in mind if you're going to go ahead and embed them into a PowerPoint presentation. As soon as they're all embedded in the right place, you need to go ahead and screencast right away. If you choose to save and close out and come back and screencast it at a later time, just be prepared and know that you're going to have to re-embed all of your Vokies in and then screencast it all in one shot. All right, so here is our uh, background. And what it will do is it will actually randomly populate a Vokey, a background, and a player head for you. But you can change all of that with all of these things right here. So the first thing that we're going to look at is our different characters. So I just clicked on the little head button and you can kind of see what's available here. And you can actually scroll through up here and pick different areas to go through. Now, let's talk about these, see these little guys with um, graduation caps on top of them. This, these are only available in the Vokey classroom. Now, I don't pay for a Vokey classroom account. I only have the free account, so I'm limited. So typically, these politics ones, there really aren't any in here that I can use. Um, there's holiday ones. So some of these holiday ones are available, and some of them are only good in the Vokey classroom if you pay for the upgraded version. Digimon is typically where I get a lot of my characters for my gamified website. Um, so that's, you know, one of the places that I go. They have dogs, cats, 3D, all different kinds of things that you can pick from. World. So let's pick, I don't know, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, now you can, with some of them, you can change their hair um, and some of their facial features. Let's see. Oh, Abe Lincoln can come in red hair, maybe? Nope. He is who he is. Clothing, sometimes you can change them. He just has the one, the one clothes that he's wearing, and he doesn't happen to have any bling available. All right, so we can click Done with that. 
Um, so we've already gone through clothing and bling. He doesn't have any. The next thing that I like to do is look at backgrounds. So I'm going to click in backgrounds. Um, they have tons of different backgrounds that you can choose from, but you can also upload your own background. So if you want to put Abraham Lincoln in front of the Lincoln Monument at, in Washington, D.C., you can upload your own photograph of that if you want to. So we could put him in a city, we could put him uh, playing beach volleyball, we can put him in front of Air Force One. Um, so there are all different places where you can put your Vokies underneath the sea. So you can kind of get creative. So uh, let's look at the animated backgrounds here. Ooh, that one's a little crazy. Give him some a thunderstorm in the background. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with your Vokies. So we'll keep him in the thunderstorm right now. So I'll click done. And then the last thing that you can do is see how this is brown on the outside. You can change the color of the player. So you have different options here, black or pink. So you can kind of customize the way that you want it to look. We'll just go with blue. Okay, then you can give it a voice. So there's a couple of different ways that you can give it a voice. You can call in by telephone and record a voice that you create or make up or you know have somebody else give it a voice through the telephone and record a message. You can type text in which will uh, give it that robotic kind of speech sound which you know can get a little monotonous at times. You can record with a microphone so just like I'm recording this screencast and I have my microphone plugged into my computer you could record directly from there. Or you can upload some type of audio file if it's some type of clue or something like that that you want uh, your kids to listen to. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go with text to speech. And here's where you type in your text. Okay. <clears throat> so you could hit play and kind of test out what it sounds like. Thank you for a tutorial. I am Abe Lincoln. I am headed to the theater tonight. Looking forward to a good time. Okay, so there are different accents that you can give your Vokies here. So you can click through all the different ones and there are also different voices that you can pick from. So we could pick, let's see, we, we're Paul right now. We could pick Simon from the UK. Um, so you can kind of play, let's see what Steven from the U.S. sounds like. Let me stick my microphone underneath my speaker for you. Hello, this is a test of Volky for a tutorial. I'm Bob Lincoln. I'm headed to the theater tonight. Looking forward to a good time. So notice how Steven pronounces Abe Lincoln as Ob Lincoln. So we can actually fix that. And you, I would definitely recommend that you listen to what your Vokey sounds like because oftentimes I find myself having to go back into my text and type something phonetically. So we can make that A sound very, very long. Um, and if they mispronounce something terribly, you can kind of go back in and fix it phonetically. In the free version, I just want you to know that you can only type 30 seconds worth of speech because that's the longest your free Vokey can speak. If you want it to speak longer than that, then you can um, um, pay for the, the upgraded version. Now students can create these as well. I have seen foreign language students, for instance, record themselves speaking in Spanish or Chinese into a Vokey and uploading a Vokey for an assignment onto Edmodo. So that's a way that students can create and use Vokies in the classroom. Or you might want kids to record 30 seconds of, of some type of recording. Maybe you give them, you know, a radio uh, narrative assignment or some type of newscast assignment where they're um, uh, broadcasting about a, a particular current event or a concept in your class and that kind of thing. So that's another way that kids can use Vokies in the classroom. And if you go with that Vokey classroom account, your kids can have different logins and that kind of thing and their privacy settings are a little more closed garden and that kind of thing. Alright, so let's just say that we are finished here. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. 
and we're happy with everything that we have uh, uh, put into our Vokey now. So I'm going to go ahead and click Publish, which is right here. Now I have to name my scene and again I'm going to bring your attention to you only have 20 characters maximum to name this scene. So I'm going to name it Test Vokey Delete Me and I'm going to click Save. So now what it's doing is it's actually publishing it and, and creating it for you. So I'm going to click Close and you can go ahead and add it to your site and you can decide how large or small you want it to be. I typically typically go with the medium size. That's the size that you saw on my website earlier. And all you have to do is copy all of this code here. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it and then I can paste it into an HTML box on my website and that's how I put it into my website. Um, or you can get a, a link to your webs to your Vokey if you want your kids to be able to just click on the link and come and listen to your Vokey speak you don't want to embed it onto your website or onto Edmodo or somewhere like that then you would just copy this link down here and share the link with your students that way so if you are going to embed this into a PowerPoint presentation then you would embed like a video clip. You would go into insert video and there's an HTML box in there where you can uh, paste this code into there. And then your Vokey can be inside of your PowerPoint and you can click play and screencast that Vokey in your PowerPoint. So Vokey is really fun. Again, you only have 30 seconds, so you need to be kind of creative into how you, how you use that. I put them on Edmodo to give my kids directions about things before. Um, like I say, I use it on my website uh, to give kids directions into what to click on and where to go for their quests. I've embedded them into PowerPoints before to kind of teach the lesson and that kind of thing. I have seen foreign language teachers use them where the kids record themselves speaking in a different language. Um, news broadcasts where the kids can record themselves and that kind of thing. The last little tip I'm going to give you about Vokey is that it is flash based. So that means that if you have an iPad classroom, the kids are not going to be able to see Vokey on their iPads unless they're using an, an app like Puffin or Photon that allows them to see Flash Player on the iPad. Well, that about does it for Vokey. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.